I want to advise the lymphedema patients that one important thing is that they have to be mobile. Their mobility is very important in reducing lymphedema. If they are immobile, their lymphedema is likely to increase. When I, I ask this, patients ask me several questions, whether they can travel in the public transport, train, flight and so on. So what are the studies which tell us about the safety of travel of lymphedema patients? First thing is that when they start moving, their lymphedema starts decreasing. This is very important. So when they do a walk, it doesn't mean that they have to go on a long, long walk of five, five miles or something. They have to make a good walk in the home or surrounding areas. They can go in the public transport, but they should take care that they wear a very good protective footwear. That is important. And then they don't have to rush up in a public uh, transport system so that uh, they should take care that their limbs are not injured while getting into the bus, getting onto the bus or so. It's very safe to travel in train because they can take rest, they can walk in the compartment and they can move. So if they are going on a long journey, it is very safe and very good for lymphedema patients to travel in train. And some patients who want to, for a quick travel, choose flights. There is a debate on whether lymphedema increases after taking a flight. So there are studies which showed that some of the cases of lymphedema have increased, some of the cases of lymphedema have not changed. So a lot of evidence discussion happened on whether patients can travel on flight. What he said is that it is very safe to travel by flight. But in our experience, we know that there is some change in the volume which happens after they come to taking flight to IAD. So we generally ask them to take rest for one day after flight. So travel is very safe. They can travel by public transport, they can travel by train, they can travel by flight, but they should be aware that they have lymphedema. So they have to take care that they are not injured themselves. If they are traveling on flight, for more than one hour, it is safer for patients to walk inside the aeroplane uh, several times before they reach the destination. Mm -hmm.